So, are you ready to take your t-shirt designing skills to a whole new level? What is up, Define Squad? Welcome, 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 and welcome back. If you are not new here, it's your girl Alex at Defined by Alex, where we are defining our lives and building our dreams. So y'all, in today's video, I'm about to show you how you can create a 3D, yes, a 3D t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. Now, let's just back it up a little bit. Adobe Illustrator is, in my opinion, one of the more like advanced designing, graphic designing platforms. Obviously, it's under the Adobe umbrella. So, it can be quite intimidating if you are just starting out, but no worries because today's tutorial i'm going to walk you through some easy peasy steps on how you can design your own 3d t-shirt design for your business or if you're just merely playing around and you want to get started using adobe illustrator okay so let's go ahead and hop into my computer and i'm going to show you how you can create your very own 3d design let's get into it hey people so i am now in my adobe illustrator software um, just a quick behind the story on this I actually got this a while ago I think I got a few of the Adobe apps but I just started to play around with them as of recently and so I really liked what I was creating and so I think I'm going to stick with Adobe and some of my design making from here on out because it's starting to become very easy for me and so this particular design that you guys see me you know just right here is what I want to recreate for you okay so I'm gonna go ahead and go to my empty canvas, which is on the next slide here. Now I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side. Now this is Adobe's, these are the drawing tools. So anything you wanna draw, you wanna shape, you wanna paint, you wanna type, you wanna scale, it's gonna be on this left-hand side. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the typing tool. And I'm just gonna go right here, kind of like a little bit in the center and pretty much get the type it. Now, as you guys can probably see, it's super tiny, but no worries because I'm about to change all of that. And I'm just gonna put choose, okay. Now, no worries, I'm gonna make this way bigger by going over to the selection tool in the left-hand side. And I'm just gonna make this much bigger. So that's how it's supposed to look. <laughs> so I'm just pretty much adjusting the shape here. And so, the next thing I'm going to do, you guys, instead of typing, um, honestly, the next two words, I'm just going to copy and paste the same word, and I'll just change it from there. So I'm going to do Command-C and Command-V because I am on a Apple device, but if you have a Windows, it is Control-C and Control-V. So I'm just going to duplicate my steps here. And then I'm gonna click into the words, y'all, and I'm just gonna type in my next, the actual word that's supposed to go in this place. Okay? Okay. So, perfect. Now, what I'm gonna do is go back to my selection tool because I do want to like make these still proportioned. And I know with yourself being a longer word, I just wanna squeeze that in there. So everything is just aligned, okay? All right, cool. That looks good. I'll bring the T in just a little bit. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty much how you get text on, you know, your canvas in Adobe Illustrator. Just go to the typing tool, type your words, you know, make them bigger so you can see what you're, what you're doing. And then you could just go, you know, go forward from there. Keep it going. So now I do want to change the color. So I'm going to just change this field color and I'm just going to do, um, let's just say a blue or something like that. And that's fine for me. I'm going to do the same thing for this one. If it's going to be the same, uh, it's a little bit different. Let me see what shape was this. I'll just copy this. Okay. Perfect. So I just changed that color to match. Perfect. So now it's all blue. I like it. So now I also want to add an outline. Now in Adobe, this stroke, 
verbiage also is it's a meaning for outline so when you want to create an outline on your text all you have to do is go to the stroke feature and you can do that so I'm just probably going to make the stroke black and I'm just going to increase it here in just a second so let's see here click on the last word change it to black bada bing bada boom so now I know because it's a little faint, I need to increase it. I'm going to select four points. You guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to keep going from there. And boom. Oops. Okay, perfect. So now you see how I just pretty much started with a blank canvas, y'all. I just went to my typing tool, typed my words, adjusted them, make sure they all fit, they all look aligned. And you know, I'm just gonna keep it moving, okay? So now, as I just like adjust it a little bit more, I'm going to now create the 3D effect. So over here, your right hand side, if you go to this FX feature, excuse me, also means choose an effect, you have to click that, and it just pops up a list of a lot of Illustrator and Photoshop effects. But in today's video, I'm just going to do the 3D under Illustrator effects. And I'm gonna select extrude and bevel. Now what happens next is y'all see how the design just creates this whole 3D rendering and I think it's super cool. Now if you wanted this to be a little bit different in like the layout, you can change the axis. I'm just pretty much doing like a custom rotation right now, so. I just want to see what it's going to look like. Mm, okay, not too bad. If I wanted to just like change it up a little bit, I could. Okay, so basically now I know I have, as far as my access points, I have 10, I have 18, and I have 4. So now I can keep it like this, I can keep changing it, you know, it's really up to me. But let's just say if I wanted the actual 3D part to be a little bit deeper, that's when you have to go to the extrude depth and you just, honestly, you guys, you just adjust it, okay? So I'm just gonna do like 58, let's see what 58 looks like. Okay. There wasn't really much change if you ask me. So let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Okay, 84. Ooh, okay, so 84 gave me a little bit more thickness. That's cool. So now I'm just gonna repeat it. Let me just check my access points again so I can match everything else up. 10, 18, 4, 84, perfect. So those are my numbers. So I'm gonna do the same thing, just repeat my steps. And I know this is 10, this is 18, and this is four, and I know this is 84, okay? So boom, do that, 84. Oh. I'm just gonna type it because little slider is little finicky. Perfect, now that matches. And now I'm gonna scoot it up so now you guys can see how it's gonna fit so well together. Okay, let's move on to the last one. And then after this, you guys, I'm gonna show you what this looks like on an actual like flat lay t-shirt mock-up. Okay, so boom. 10, 18, and then four. You guys see how easy this is? And then this was 84. Oops, not 840. Perfect. All right, so now I have all of my words the way that I like them to look. Now, if you wanted to, which I'm going to do here too, to make this a little bit bigger, you totally can and just expand it all and group it together. You can do that here too. But you guys, this is it. This is how you're going to be able to create a 3D t-shirt design all in Adobe Illustrator. A few simple steps, you guys, and that's it. It doesn't take a lot. All you have to do is just, you know, pretty much figure out what you wanted to say. And you have a nice, cool 3D typography t-shirt design in Adobe Illustrator. So the next steps I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and go to file. And I need to export this so that this way, this is going to be a compatible file for Canva. So I just went to file, I went to export, 
And so now I'm just going to do choose two or choose one. And I know my format is PNG and that's great because that's what Canva accepts. So I'm going to export that. It's going to pretty much tell me um, what this is going to look like once I download it, which is fine. Your resolution, you want this to be high for sure. Everything else can stay the same and then your transparent background is going to apply too. So that looks good for me. I'm going to go ahead and go to Canva. I have a mock-up here for y'all already, ready to upload. And so now let me go ahead and find that, drag it to Canva, bada bing, bada boom, okay? And then, voila, I am going to just go ahead and just adjust it a little bit, you know? Now, it's kind of reading a little wopsided, but that's why I love Canva because you can just adjust it once you or after you make your design. And so, boom. How cool is that? You definitely can achieve this, you guys. Again, no graphic design skills. I don't have any background in graphic designing. So, you know, learning on my own is pretty much the best way I've just learned to just do things. But as you guys can see, we took our design from Adobe Illustrator to Canva, and that is how you can create a 3D t-shirt design all on your own. Okay friends, so that is how you can create your very own 3Z t-shirt design in Adobe Illustrator. So I hope this video encourages you guys to want to try something new, you know, to face your challenges, face your fears when it comes to designing your t-shirts because trust me when I say you guys, it's a whole learning process but I believe that you can achieve it because I know I did. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video on how you can design a 3D t-shirt design using Adobe Illustrator. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment. Let me know what you think about this video, y'all. But as always, don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and always choose yourself first, and I'll be back in my next video. Bye, y'all.